Hello children, today we will discuss about the vitamins deficiency DCS. Before going to learn about the vitamin deficiency DCS, we have to learn about the vitamins. What are the vitamins? So, vitamins are organic substances. Organic substances. Vitamins are organic substances. What is the meaning of organic substances? The substances which contain the element carbon. Symbol of carbon is C. So the substances which contains the carbon element that all substances are called as organic substances. So vitamins also organic substances. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, nucleic acids, these all substances contain the element carbon that's why these are all organic substances next uh, vitamins vitamins required to our body in small quantity that's why vitamins are called as micronutrients micronutrients vitamins are micronutrients what are micronutrients the substances which require to our body in small quantity they are called as micronutrients how do we get the vitamins we get the vitamins by two ways the source of the vitamins to our body through two ways there are two ways are there to get the vitamins first one through our diet through our diet by the food material we will get the vitamins Second way is bacteria present in our intestine. We get the vitamins by two ways. First one through the diet, through the food material that we eat. Second one bacteria present in our intestine. In the intestine some bacteria are growing so they are helpful to our body so that bacteria will produce the vitamins especially which vitamin is produced by the bacteria which lives in the intestine that vitamin is called as b12 vitamin or it is also called cyanocobalamin vitamin let us study about the types of vitamins types of vitamins how many types of vitamins are there totally so now we are going to learn about the types of vitamins vitamins are divided into two types first type is some vitamins they dissolves in water that's why they are called as water soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins next second type some vitamins dissolves only in fat so that's why they are called fat soluble vitamins vitamins are divided into two types some vitamins dissolves in water that's why they are called as water soluble vitamins some vitamins dissolves only in fat that's why they are called as fat soluble vitamins fat soluble vitamins what are the water soluble vitamins there are two vitamins are there fat soluble vitamins that is b complex vitamin b complex vitamin and second one vitamin c vitamin c next what are the fat soluble vitamins total four vitamins are there in this category first vitamin is vitamin a next vitamin d next vitamin e next fourth one vitamin k vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k so these four vitamins belongs to the fat soluble vitamins so these are the two types of vitamins water soluble vitamins 
फैट सॉलिबल विटामिन वाट आर सॉलिबल विटामिन आर टू विटामिन बी मीन्स बी कॉम्प्लेक्स विटामिन एंड विटामिन सी फैट सॉलिबल विटामिन आर फोर ए डी ई के विटामिन ए विटामिन डी विटामिन ई विटामिन के वाट आर द सैंटिफिक नेम्स आफ विटमिन एंड वाट आर द रिसोर्सेस आफ विटमिन वाट टाइप आफ डिस वी विल गेट ड्यू टू दट डिफिशियसि आफ विटमि एंड वाट आर द सिमटम्स आफ दैट डिस सो वी हव टू लर्न इन डीटेल लेट अ स्टडी वाट आर सॉलिबल विटमि आर टू फर्स्ट वन विटमि बी कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड सेकेंड वन विटमि सी नाउ लेट अ स्टडी अबउट द विटमि बी कॉम्प्लेक्स विटमि बी कॉम्प्लेक्स इज नाट ए सिंगल विटमि इट इज ए ग्रूप ऑफ एट विटमि टोटल एट विटमि आर देर इन विटमि बी कॉम्प्लेक्स वाट आर दे फर्स्ट विटमि इज थयामि नेक्स्ट रईबोफ्लेविन नियासी पैरीडाक्सी सयानोकोबालमि फोलिक ऐसी पैंटोथिक ऐसी एंड बयोटि सो दीज आर दईट विटमि विच आर प्रसेंट इन विटमि बी कॉम्प्लेक्स नाउ लेट अ स्टडी वन बै वन फस्ट विटमि इज थयामि थयामि इज अ फस्ट B complex vitamin it is also called as B1 vitamin due to lack of thiamine we get the disease that is beriberi disease the deficiency of thiamine causes the beriberi disease what are the symptoms of beriberi disease first vomiting will be happens next fits fits is a condition in which people shows the unconsciousness this condition arises due to the extra electrical activities in the brain next loss of appetite what is the meaning of appetite appetite means a desire to eat food is called appetite in the loss of appetite we don't show the interest to eat food materials that leads to the malnutrition and we will get the diseases next there is a difficulty in breathing next paralysis paralysis is a problem related to the nervous system in paralysis people lost their muscle control or functions of the muscle in one part of the body sometimes two parts in two parts also we will lost the muscle function next b complex vitamin a is riboflavin riboflavin is also called as b2 vitamin due to lack of riboflavin we will get glossitis disease the deficiency of riboflavin causes the glossitis disease what are the characters of glossitis what are the symptoms of glossitis disease see here mouth cracks at corners red and sore tongue next photophobia what is photophobia the people fear to come into the sunlight because when their skin exposed to the sunlight that skin become dry and that will looks like scales scaly skin so upper layer of the skin will be removed in the form of scales next third b complex vitamin is niacin niacin is also called as b3 vitamin so this niacin so due to lack of this niacin we get the disease that is a pellagra due to lack of or the deficiency of niacin causes the pellagra disease so what are the symptoms of pellagra disease what are the characters of pellagra disease first one dermatitis means skin related problems will be arises next diarrhea means loose motions or liquid stools next loss of memory we lose our memory next scaly skin so these are the symptoms of which disease pellagra disease next b complex vitamin a is pyridoxine pyridoxine is also called as b6 vitamin due to lack of the pyridoxine we get a disease that is anemia the deficiency of pyridoxine causes the anemia disease anemia is a blood loss disease what are the symptoms of anemia disease hyper irritability nausea nausea means feeling of vomiting is called nausea next vomiting also happens and fits so these are the symptoms of anemia disease next fifth b complex vitamin a is cyanocobalamin what is the name cyanocobalamin cyanocobalamin is also called as b12 vitamin due to lack of b12 vitamin or cyanocobalamin we get the disease that is called as pernicious anemia 
pernicious anemia it is a severe blood loss disease what are the symptoms of this pernicious anemia in that disease we become lean and weak and less appetite we don't have desire to eat food so these are the symptoms of pernicious anemia next sixth b complex vitamin is folic acid due to lack of folic acid we get the anemia disease due to lack of the or the deficiency of the folic acid causes the anemia disease anemia is the blood loss disease what are the symptoms of anemia disease first one diarrhea diarrhea means loose motions or liquid stools next loss of leukocytes what is the meaning of leukocytes white blood cells are called as leukocytes there is a decrease in the number of white blood cells next to problems related to mucus in the intestine so these are the symptoms of anemia disease next b complex vitamin is pantothenic acid pantothenic acid pantothenic acid deficiency causes the burning feet in burning feet what happens we get the walking problems and we get the sprain sprain means we get the severe pain at the place of ankles and wrist the place of the joints means in the place of ankle the joint will be swells due to the twisting of ligament ligament is the connective tissue which connect the two bones at the place of the joint so due to the twisting of ligament we get a severe pain so that is called sprain next and last b complex vitamin is biotin the deficiency of biotin cause the nerves disorders what happens in the nerves disorders what are the symptoms fatigue so extra tightness will be happens mental depression next and muscle pain so these are the symptoms of nerves disorders these are the eight vitamins present in vitamin b complex till now we have studied about the b complex vitamins there are eight b complex vitamins are there now let us study about the resources of b complex vitamins here thiamine riboflavin niacin pyridoxine folic acid pantothenic acid and biotin these seven b complex vitamins available in this type of resources we get these vitamins from these food materials they are vegetables leafy vegetables oil seeds cereals pulses nuts kidney liver milk meat fish egg so from these food materials we get this all b complex vitamins but one vitamin is there one b complex vitamin is there we don't get this vitamin from the food materials that is cyanocobalamin cyanocobalamin is not available in the food material so we get the cyanocobalamin from the bacteria bacteria present in our intestine so that bacteria produce the b12 vitamin or cyanocobalamin so this is the specialty of the cyanocobalamin so these are the b complex vitamins next water soluble vitamin is vitamin c vitamin c scientific name is ascorbic acid vitamin c is available in this type of food materials what are the green leafy vegetables citrus fruits citrus fruits means lemon oranges like fruits are called citrus fruits next sprouts or sprouted seeds next the deficiency of vitamin c causes the scurvy disease scurvy disease is caused by the deficiency of vitamin c what are the symptoms of scurvy disease there is a delay in healing of wounds and fractures in bones these are the symptoms of scurvy disease next these are fat soluble vitamin so up to now we have studied about the water soluble vitamins vitamin b complex and vitamin c belongs to the water soluble vitamins next and first fat soluble vitamin is vitamin a vitamin a scientific name is retinol so this vitamin a is available in this food materials what are the leafy vegetables carrot tomato pumpkin papaya mango milk meat fish egg 
liver cod liver oil and shark liver oil so these are the food materials in which vitamin a is present the deficiency of vitamin a causes the eye and skin diseases eye and skin diseases caused by the deficiency of vitamin a what are the diseases night blindness in that night blindness people cannot see the object at night time only next xerophthalmia xerophthalmia is also called as a dry eyes in our eyes tears are produced by the lacrimal glands so lacrimal glands unable to produce the tears so that's why eyes become dry and that leads to the blindness or permanent vision loss next cornea failure what is cornea our front part of eye is covered by a transparent membrane that is called cornea so cornea problems also arises next scaly skin so these are the symptoms of uh, uh, the diseases which caused by the deficiency of vitamin a next fat soluble vitamin a is vitamin d what is the scientific name of vitamin d calciferol vitamin d is also called as sunshine vitamin why it is called as sunshine vitamin so below the skin in our body a type of fat is present that fat is called as subcutaneous fat when we stand in the sunlight in the morning time so this subcutaneous fats in the presence of sunlight converts into vitamin d that's why vitamin d is called as a sunshine vitamin vitamin d is available in liver egg butter cod liver oil and shark liver oil due to lack of the vitamin vitamin d we get which type of disease rickets disease the deficiency of vitamin d causes the rickets disease what are the symptoms of rickets disease improper formation of bones so bones are not formed properly next knock knees so people are not able to walk properly in knock knees condition next swollen wrist delayed dentition teeth are formed late there is a delay in the formation of teeth next weak bones bones become very very weak due to lack of the vitamin d so these are the symptoms of rickets next fat soluble vitamin e is vitamin e vitamin e scientific name is tocopherol this vitamin e is available in fruits vegetables sprouts and sunflower oil due to lack of vitamin e we get fertility related diseases fertility related diseases means sterility in males and abortions in females next and last fat soluble vitamin e is vitamin k what is the scientific name of vitamin k philoquinone what is the scientific name philoquinone what are the resources of vitamin k vitamin k is available in green leafy vegetables milk meat and egg what is the importance of vitamin k vitamin k helps in the blood clotting what is blood clotting freezing of blood is called blood clotting for example if you are fleeing suddenly you get injury and your bleeding happens so if it is happening continuously that leads to the death also at that time vitamin k helps to clot the blood that process is called as blood clotting if there is a deficiency of vitamin k then we will get the problems related to the blood clotting in that situation there is a delay in blood clotting and over bleeding happens that finally leads to the death also so this is about the vitamin k